Hey guys, this is Laura. I'm going on the Appalachian Trail on March 10th and I wanted to do a gear video. If you got any suggestions, let me know and let's just get right into it, okay? <laughs> so, my first thing, my backpack is the Gossamer Gear Murmur. It's really lightweight. It is water resistant. Not the front pocket, but water resistant, so it's pretty cool. Um, I have the Zolio um, GPS system. It's really great. I highly recommend it. There's a check-in button that you can press and it'll send your location via satellite to your contacts. There is an SOS button that you can press in an emergency. And also there's an app that you can use to talk to your contacts. You're allowed five contacts and they, it will transmit the text via satellite, which is really cool. Uh, I also have the maps that are on my phone uh, via the Gut Hooks app. So I didn't feel like I needed, it, needed maps on my GPS system, so this works really well. It's lightweight, it's, well, I wouldn't say it's lightweight, but it's one of the lighter weight ones. Alright, and then here on the front, I have, it's the REI rain shield pocket that I use for my phone. It has a magnet in the front, and it's supposed to keep the rain off of my cell phone, but easily accessible for me. This is a bandana, which is used for all various sorts of things, for, for wounds, for filtering water in, in an emergency. Um, but I'm going to be using it for blowing my nose and for cleaning out my pot. And then I'll rinse it out in, in the streams and such. So that's what I'm going to use for that. This is my Catadyne Be Free. I love this. It's really easy. It has a wide mouth. You get some water. It has an open filter that you can clean out if you want. And stick it back on and you're ready to drink. I also have... Um, this water bottle is really lightweight. It is from Poland Spring water and took off the label and I will squeeze the water into here and then fill this up again so I have two liters of water. I also wanted to mention that I have these little um, matcha green tea coconut water things that I can put in here for some extra energy if I feel like I'm getting a little bit slow and just add a little something to my water if I want. <laughs> the Murmur is really cool. It has this foam uh, backing, so not the entire pack is on your back, but just certain parts of it. You can also use this as a sit pad so it doubles up. That's just really cool. It's easy to take out and put back in. I love that. Um, it comes with two pockets. One pocket is for all of my little snacks. You can hear that. And the other pocket, I'm going to show you what's in here. This is my um, Nightcore headlamp. It's really lightweight. Some people make it ultra lightweight by taking this off and placing it with some kind of bungee cord system. But I'm not a gram weenie. Or I should be, but I'm not. I, I really like this. I think it's easy to put on and really good. So I'm just going to keep it. This is my alarm clash slash uh, watch. Really important, so I know the time. It was like $10 at Walmart. <laughs> I have chapstick. And I have these surgical gloves that I put on top of my gloves in order to waterproof them during some rainstorm or something. I don't really want my hands to be freezing cold because remember I'm still leaving in March. So, all right. In the front here, I wanted to show you that I have, this is called a gear tie. I don't know if you can see it, but you can get them at REI. They're really cheap. They're just, um, they're just wire that's covered in rubber and it'll be good for drying things such as my socks and my and my underwear or something if it doesn't dry overnight in my tent. 
And also on it, I have, just for now, it's my soap. And this is, I think it's waterproof, and but at the same time, it's breathable so that it can actually dry my soap after I use it and it's all wet. And this soap is actually kind of special. It smells so good. It is, it doubles as a shampoo. So I can shampoo my hair. It's a shampoo bar, specifically. But I can use it for soap for my body as well. And when I finish doing my business out in the, out in the woods, I can take a little sliver off with my pocket knife and rub my hands together and wash it off and I'll use it for washing my hands. So, my soap. And then roll this up. There's a little snap. I hear that this really dries well. So, there's that. Alright, let's get to the front of my pack. I have a puffy jacket. It is a generic puffy. It's nothing special. I got it at Sierra, but I love it. It's great. It's just as good as the name brands. It packs up really small. It's super comfy and warm. And the brand is called Kamek. I got it like for 50 or $60. Love it. It's a good buy. I've been using it all winter, actually. This is the Montbell Versalite rain jacket. It can also double as a wind jacket if I want, or layering if it gets freezing cold. It does come with a, a separate bag, but to save a little bit of weight, I got rid of the bag and used the pocket of the Versalite jacket and put it inside itself, just stuffed it inside itself. So it's a great company and really expensive. I haven't used it yet, but I've heard amazing things about this product. This is one of my heavier things that I'm hoping to trade out someday soon, but these are rain pants. They can double as wind pants. This is the Columbia brand. Um, it, they're durable. They do their job for the rain. Hoping I don't freeze. Do the best you can. These are my gloves. They're outdoor research gloves. They have some fleece on the inside. They're not waterproof. I heard you can get waterproof gloves, but I don't have them. So I use those surgical gloves I showed you. There's little grippies on it. Nothing special, but they're warm and they keep my fingers warm in really cold weather. I have a beanie for now, just to keep my head warm. These are my camp shoes slash water shoes, and I love these. They're really lightweight. They're like 5.8 ounces for both of them. They're flat. They're, they're easy to slip on for camp when you're done with uh, your boots. I got them on Amazon, but they also are important to me because um, if I need to cross rivers or a river, that's really kind of deep and there's no way around it that this is what these come in handy for. I'd rather have these on than my waterproof boots and then take, have them take forever to dry. So I think these are an important piece of equipment. And this is my, I don't know, hygiene system. I chose tampons. For that time of the month, I thought they were, they would be the least messy out of everything. I do have a, a cup that I use, but I thought this would be better, less blood. So I have wet wipes. They're just wet wipe rounds that I had at home, and I can use it for going number two. This is a trowel. They, it isn't the Deuce of Spades, it's some knockoff brand, but just as good, and you make your cat holes in this and then cover it up, and there we go. Okay, this is really important to me. This is the um, Tinkle Bell. Uh, I found it really annoying to have to find a spot and squat and 
go number one. And in order for me to save time and speed up the process, I thought that I should bring this. Um, it doesn't weigh very much. It's like 1.5 ounces. It's really lightweight. You can fold it up like this as well. And um, you can shake it off when you're done and get right back on the trail. Just unzip, do your business, zip, go. Done. And then I have my bag for carrying out the wet wipes and tampons so you can leave no trace. It's really important. This is for the front. All right, so I think we can go inside my bag now. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to include this. This would be at the top. This is the Hilltop Packs. It's lightweight, really cool. It has a bear, it says hello. Inside it, this is the op sack. It's supposed to prevent uh, smells, so the, the bears can't smell your all your food. I would keep all of my food in here. This is my pot, and I made a little pot cozy for it. Inside is the Tokes 750 milliliter. And it comes like that, and it has a little top. You can open up. I have my Bic lighter, and I also have matches as a backup, just in case. There was one night that I was out, and my fingers were so cold, and, and I could not for the life of me seem to get this to work. So I had these, and I just met, and I stroke it. I did one strike and it, it automatically worked and I was like I'm so thankful that I brought the matches and they're so lightweight so it doesn't matter. This is my BRS stove in, in case any of you haven't seen it. It's really super light weight. Um, it's easy to, to, to work and you put it on top of your fuel. And my fuel is also inside my pot. So I put that on top. Of it. And then I have my little stove system. And I put my pot on top, and there we go. That's my system. And then after I cook my food, I can insulate it in my, in my cozy. I have the Tokes Titanium Spoon for this kind of long, but it gets everything. <laughs> I have my toothbrush and toothpaste in here because I heard that bears can even smell toothpaste. Anything smelly, I probably should put my soap in it too. But anything smelly should go into this sack. And also on my toothbrush, it's a bamboo toothbrush so it's really light. I have um, a hair elastic. This is my um, bear bag liner. It, this is um, line a bear bag line from Z Packs, really lightweight. And then this is my rock sack. Um, and I put a little rock in it <laughs> so I can be able to get it over the tree and hang my bear bag. Okay. Inside here, I have a liner, which is really helpful for the rain. I know that this is really water resistant, which is helpful, but this will really keep all of the things that I want to keep dry, ultra dry. So. This is one of my heavier items, and I just can't seem to get rid of it exactly, but I haven't found a lighter solution yet, and it's been so warm. It's helped me stay warm in really cold nights. It is the Cool, K-U-H-L, you can see that, and it's a an alpaca wool black, um, it, I believe it was for men's, and I but I got it on clearance my cat 
and it's just so warm so it's a it was a very good piece of gear it's my mid layer in case it gets freezing and it helps me at night to be able to get warm uh, let me, do, let me do my clothes first. So this is my clothes bag. This is my daughter. <laughs> this is my puffy jacket bag. I'm going to put my puffy jacket inside. I'll, I would stuff it all in here. And then I use this as a, as a pillow. But also, it's my son. <laughs> But also, I would I could double it up with this as well to have an extra cushy pillow. Uh, these are this is my underwear, but they're kind of special. There it says the brand name is Icon, but I know that they changed the brand name recently. They changed the brand name recently, and I think it's called Speaks S P E A X, but. And the reason why I got this is because I've had, I have three kids and, um, you know, for women who have incontinence, uh, you want to stay dry down there and the bottom part is absorbent. So it will absorb the extra little things, little sprinkles that I get. So that's really helpful. Then here's my extra pair of socks. So I have two socks, one for hiking, one for sleeping, and then I'll switch and then let them dry, the other one dry. <laughs> this is my sleep shirt. I think it's really important to have a separate shirt to sleep in so I can get out of the smelly, sweaty clothes and put, in some, put on something dry. Uh, it's nothing special. So, um, these are my smart wool leggings. They were a clearance buy and I wasn't sure if I'd want, need them or not, but I decided to give it a go and it was a great buy. It, um, and, and they're just awesome to keep my, my legs warm. I wear them at nighttime for when I sleep and just warm and cozy and they are a little bit heavy this one and this one they're both you know this is alpaca this is wool i would say those are the heaviest items but i feel it's really necessary to be warm so i'm sure that i'll have a lighter pack in the summer i wouldn't be have to carry those items this is my ditty bag oh this is little this is my husband's razor. It was lighter than my razor, and it has um, a hair elastic on it. This is a really necessary item for me. I have a tendency to sprain my ankle, so having this ace bandage is really important. I also have on here a needle and thread. The needle for popping blisters if necessary and the thread for um, the thread for sewing up a hole or something if, if need be. I have my uh, dollar brush and it comes with a mirror so really easy simple and one dollar and really lightweight so in the dollar store um, this is my outlet. This is my battery. It's a 10,000 mAh battery and the, it's, the brand is EAFU Power Bank and I got it from Amazon and it was really lightweight. It will tell you how much is left in the battery and I just really like it. I thought it was a good buy. I have two power cords. One power cord for my phone and the other power cord will serve as charging the Zolio and my headlamp. And they are short. This is my medical kit, the ibuprofen, uh, band-aids, 
Benadryl, some, I think it's Imodium. Imodium is for if you get um, diarrhea on the trail. Um, this is my Nemo Tensor Insulated. It is the regular size. It's not the wide and it's not the shortened version. I just wanted to get the most warmth as possible because I sleep cold, especially my feet. Um, and I love this brand. I, lo I love how easy it is to, to inflate because there's a big, there's a big, what is it? It's like a balloon thing that you just squish down and it inflates it for you. I, Anyway, look it up. Nemo Tensor. It has like a 3.5 R value, which is decent. This is my um, this is my sleeping bag. It is the Marmot Hydrogen. It's one of the lightest or lighter and sleeping bags on the market. I love that it has a hood on top and that I can really like cozy up inside and um, it packs down really nice. I push it down to the bottom of the pack. I don't have it in a, a stuff sack because it would be like a hard weight and I'd have to go all the way around it. Whereas if I mush it down at the bottom, then it kind of molds into everything else and um, so it's easier. This is a 30 degree one, and I think it weighs about 26 ounces. So. This is my Tyvek footprint that I made myself. It's really lightweight, and it's a great alternative to a, a footprint that you would have to buy. And I think this is the last thing I have right now is the Nemo Hornet two-person tent. It is a double wall tent and it gives me enough room. If I were to take my husband with me, we'd be able to fit, albeit a bit cozy, but um, this is one of the lightest weight double wall tents that they have out there. And I'm really excited to try it out on the trail. I've only uh, set it up here at home, so but I'm excited. I heard lots of good things about it. The things that I don't have on here, but I wanted to mention, I do have, I'm going to be bringing my pocket knife with me and my bear bag, sorry, my bear spray. My bear spray is like only this big, it's really little. And my same thing, pocket knife is like that big. I already mailed it to the guy that's going to be picking me up, it's a shuttle service and it's called the Grateful Hiker Shuttle Service. So they pick you up in Atlanta and can bring you to Springer Mountain. And they're really nice. They gave me the address and I could send my bear spray and my, um, my pocket knife to them. So like I said, my bear spray is really little. The reason why I decided to bring it is because I'm a woman and I'm going alone, which is kind of scary. But also I've heard too many stories about um, bears and coyotes and it's just good to have a little extra something in case something goes wrong and you need to spray and walk away from whatever animal or being it is <laughs> in an emergency. Also, I have my tiny pocket knife. It is cool. It's a Swiss Army knife. I'm sorry I don't have it to share, but it has tweezers, um, a toothpick attached to it, some scissors for my fingernails when, if they get too long, and also the knife. So it was just a really nifty, lightweight pocket knife. It only costs like 16 bucks or so on, at REI, but that is my whole gear loadout. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And I'm really excited about my trip. Thanks so much.